Well, I would get away from worrying about him having too much power. Like that that statement that you just made right there is what it sounds like to me, and maybe I'm wrong, but what it sounds like to me is that that statement is coming from a place of fear. And so if you're coming from a place of fear when you're talking about this idea of power, right? Like, I don't want him to get too much power over me. I don't want have him to have too much power in the relationship. The reason you're saying that is because you're coming from this place of, I don't want to be hurt. I don't want him to hurt me. I think men have some kind of malicious intent, right? And so you're in this kind of like this fighting against each other kind of mentality. You're in a world of not of partnership, which is what we want to be in, but you're in this world of the war of the sexes, the adversarial type relationship, as it's said before. And so what what you want to do is you want to figure out where that's coming from. Because it sounds to me, Sarah, like you're coming from a hurt spot and you need to do some healing. And if you don't do some healing, what you're going to end up doing is one, you're going to end up getting into situations with men that are kind of adversarial fighting kind of situations. And two, you're going to end up hurting people because you're worried about making sure that that person isn't hurting you. And so you're putting up walls and defense mechanisms and ways to fight this person so that they don't end up hurting you, which is a really bad way to be in a relationship. And it just leads to more fighting and it leads to more adversarial kind of negative relationship type of stuff. You want to be in a relationship where you're both on the same side, where you, you've you got each other's back, where it's not, I'm trying to make sure that he doesn't have enough power over me so that he doesn't hurt me. But you want to be in a space where you're like, hey, we're in this together and we're growing and we're going to this destination together. Because that is a place where a man then looks at you, a man even, so for instance, we have this woman who is one of our coaches and her name's Celine, Celine Remy, great coach. And she got recently married and her husband was a, one of those guys who didn't ever want to get married. He had looked at all of these relationships around him. He'd looked at his friends and his family and all these people that had these horrible relationships and got men that got hurt in relationships. And he said, I don't want a relationship. And then he met Celine. And Celine changed his mind, right? He changed his own mind, but he changed his mind because of Celine, because Celine always had his back, because Celine was on his side, because Celine really loved him and wasn't worried about making sure he didn't get enough power, but was in a place of giving and connecting and receiving and loving. And that's the place that you want to come from. You don't want to come from a place of fear. And the only way that you can get there from a place of fear is if you do some healing and you find out what's going on with you and what's making you afraid and how to heal those kind of areas of your life, whatever it is, whether it's from the past of, of being in a relationship where you're hurt or whether it's kind of some kind of thing within yourself that you're kind of fighting against in order to prevent yourself from being like shamed or feeling like you're a bad person or, or whatever it is. And if that doesn't make sense to you, if what I just said doesn't make sense to you, you need to spend some time researching that because it's very, very important to not only this relationship that you have with this guy, but all relationships that you have with all people for the rest of your life.